What's up, D relatives? It's Dee Dee here, and um, there's a subject that's going around that I want to address. It's something that has everybody stressed out, and that's um, going into a new school year of online learning, or maybe still continuing to have to work from home. And a lot of the parents, teachers, and students are starting to act, have been agonizing over how they're going to get um, how they're going to get through this next school year productively. And the main thing that I want to stress is having a dedicated workstation for your students. If you're a teacher, um, if you're a parent that's to work from home. Uh, I just believe that you need to have a dedicated workstation for you to be productive and um, focused throughout the day. I have been working in the healthcare industry for about eight years now and since the beginning of the year of this year, January 2020, um, I was finally able to work from home. So I switched from working from the office in to be able to work from remotely from home. So I having already a desk job for about eight years and having to have a sta stationary work environment for eight hours a day or more, I know personally what it takes to have the stamina to be able to sit for long periods of time at a desk and be on the computer and not to incur ailments such as carpal tunnel flare-ups or even back aches. I know it, t it, it takes endurance. <laughs> to sit at a stationary workstation for so long. And especially if you don't have workstations where you have options to adjust your workstation to where you can stand, or if you don't have the luxury to take breaks and work outside for a while, it, it, it can be stressful. So with my eight years of experience of working, having a desk job and also having more than half a year of working from home and figuring out how I was gonna work set up my own workstation I thought I'd share some stuff with you so you don't have to go out and I know the biggest stressor for everybody is finances um, wondering where are you gonna get a desk from uh, maybe your desk accessories organizers and things like that and I just want to show you guys how you can have take what look around and see what you have in your own home first and see how you can make those things work okay but here let me give you an example of my personal setup i also want to share with you all that not only is my workstation dedicated my, my dedicated in-home office but it also serves as my bedroom. I live a very Hopi lifestyle so I do have other roommates and I do share a room with one other person so I have to take into consideration the limited square footage that I have and um, how I could make both our learning stations work because my roommate is a high school student and um, so we had to just figure things out on how to make it all work. So let's go ahead and show you how we did that. The specs of my apartment is a one bedroom, one bath, plus a loft. So we had to figure out a way that we were going to make this space multifunctional. I also wanted to distinct my side of the room as well as my roommate's side of the room. I wanted to make sure that we had clear spaces as for what was gonna be his and what was gonna be mine. So you have my station over to the left side of the room. What I did is I grabbed a folding table that was already in our apartment, one of those ones that fold in half. And I looked on Walmart um, website and it's basically about 30 bucks. So I didn't really have to purchase anything for it. The chair, my brother's chair and all I did it was red originally but I got some paint that he had and I just painted it gold. Here I went ahead and grabbed a paper clip so that I could hang my um, phone cords off of it and then I also painted the legs on the table gold as well. 
Then I got the、uh, got a command hook to hang the rest of the cords as well as my phone set here. I have my calendar up. I have this cardboard as a backing, kind of for decorative use. Then I have my necessary contacts that I have taped up to my wall. And then basically, I have all of these organizers that I had from work. These right here are just hardcore placemats that I found at Target for less than five dollars each. I went ahead and bought myself a new mouse and keyboard. The only luxury spending that I really done. And then I have my desk set up where the facing to the window because that lets in a lot of natural light. I have this round cutting board that my brother etched into, so I place my drinks and other things there, so my desk doesn't get messy. And then I've also used a few、uh, shoe boxes. This one I have my miscellaneous items in there, makeups and hand lotion, things like that. And this one I actually used some colored duct tape to add a little bit of design to this shoe box. I just went over the labels and such, so and that serves as another area where I place items that I don't need to get it into often, and then my lamp is sitting on top of that. And then、uh, this is a TV tray that I found at Ross, and I went ahead and purchased it for my TV, but then I also bought a. Computer monitor riser, and it has this drawer in here. So, in there, I have a lot of my notebooks, and then the masks that I've been purchasing. So every now and then, I have to go through this and just clear it out. But next to me is my roommate station, and we try to keep everything everything just really streamlined. He also has a monitor riser so that he doesn't have to hunch over to his laptop. He has my old keyboard and mouse. The drawer also opens up so that they can keep their items there.、Um, rulers, calculators, pencils, scissors, and such. Like I said, there's not a lot of room to work with, but we made it happen. With my roommate and I situated, now it's time for me to head out and help somebody else. So my mother, she is a teacher, and she's having to navigate the world of online teaching. So she asked for my help, and I am heading out to see her right now and get her workstation together. She knows that I have been working in my career field for eight years, so she knows I have the ins and outs of how to set up a workstation, how to get her ergonomics correctly, and just to make the most of what. Say she has to work with, so it's a drive out there. But I am always willing to help my mother. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what she has come up with. And a lot of the things I just had to utilize with what she already had. Here you can see that my mother went ahead and used another one of those less than forty dollar folding tables, and. She's already had these cup holders and little cubbies that she's acquired from being a teacher. I also purchased for her the laptop riser because I told her it would be best for her instead of having to hunch over. She could have the screen at eye level, and then it will also give her some real estate room on the table itself, so she could get an actual keyboard and a mouse,、um, and then. There's also some added storage underneath, so she would be able to keep notebooks, important papers there. And then to the right, you can see that she has utilized a bookshelf that she's already had, as well as these、uh, this metal file separator that she's using for her binders and notebooks that she will need. I told her it would be best to put it to her right side, since that's her dominant side, in case she needs something at the ready. And her station is faced up against the window again.、Uh, for natural lighting, she will be on those videos with her students, so her students will need to be able to see her very clearly. And here's where my mom is so innovative. Look at she got the kitchen chair, put a pillow with the casing over the backing so it could be comfortable for her. And then she just got another square pillow to put on on the seat so it will be comfortable for her. And this is just temporary. 
And you can see with her table, it's also adjustable. So there's three levels. So no matter how tall somebody is, I, I personally suggest these folding tables, especially the ones with the height adjustment. My mom also had these poster size post-its. So she is placing them on her closet door. And she stated she was going to utilize this for her weekly planning. So I think that is really great. She already has a lot of markers, lots of pens, and she said this way it's easy for her to change out when she needs to. And because her students are not only going to be seeing her, but her background is very important. So what we did was we ended up getting a curtain and hanging it outside her bedroom door. She wants to keep the door open for good air ventilation. We also added some pictures, decorative pictures, so we wanted to keep it aesthetically pleasing. So very simple and again these were all things that she already had in her household. So you see, there's all kinds of ways that you can think of trying to make your workspace work for you, but you don't have to break the bank by doing so. And um, if you have multiple kids in the home, because I know not everyone has the luxury to have their own rooms. Maybe they have to share rooms like I do or even share a workstation. So it's, it's workable. And like I said, you can use pretty much anything. If you have cinder blocks at home that you're, that you're not using, go ahead and bring those into the house. Um, if you have paint, get it painted to the child's liking. And then maybe you can even unhinge a, a a door from inside the house like maybe a closet door that you're not even using that you can lay out for them to put on top of the cinder blocks or like I said um, I'm using the folding tables so so and that's just what I already had in my own house my mother she went ahead and used her kitchen chairs for her desk that she's currently making do with right now and all of the other added stuff you know you can purchase those along the way as you start to save up for them but for now it's just all a matter of using your imagination see what you have around um, and making it work for you so I really hope this helped out a lot uh, let me know what you've come up with, um, share with me some ideas that you've thought of, and um, I'll go ahead and also link some of the items that I've been using and um, put them down in the description box, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Wish you guys all a safe and happy new school year. Bye!